Alan? Can you hear me? Manny. Alan. Manny, I'm, I'm hearing your if, voice. If you can hear me, then wave. Why? How? I, can you see me, Manny? Yeah, of course I can see you. Of course I can see you. There Alan. you it's, are. It's a video chat. Hey, buddy. Oh, Manny, How's it it's going? so good to see you. Oh, it's so good to see oh. you too, Alan. I've been. I missed uh, the show, Manny. Oh, I missed the show. I missed the show so much. I've been. I've been. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, Alan. I've been. I've been pretty sad. Pretty sad in this quarantine for three months. Haven't seen a stage the whole time. Haven't been to the fabulous Futz Theater. It's. Uh, I'm not used to. But tell me, you've got. I'm not. You got a makeup person there at the house, right? Somebody's putting makeup on you because you're looking great. <sighs> You're lying to me, Alan, but I appreciate it. I look terrible. Through my teeth. I look terrible. Through my teeth. I need my makeup artist. I need my costumer. But most of all, I need the sound of cheering. I need the sound of the fans in the theater oh, chanting my name. I just... Oh, with, I without it, Alan, you were gonna I... Say most, I thought you were going to say you needed the sound of the band. Oh. And, and your buddy, Alan, to, to, Alan. to do the announcing thing. I, but, you know, I thought it was a thing you were going to I say. need the sound of the band. I need the sound of you more than anything else, my friend. And do you know why that is? N no. Because the sound of the band is the sound of Manny Balthasar taking that stage. <sighs> Manny, what have you been doing? Three months, what have you been doing? Well, I've been sitting here next to this sign with my name on it. Uh, I've been... I, I've been doing a lot of the same thing, Manny. A I, lot of the same thing. I just sit next to it and wish something would change. I've been, uh, you know, I've been eating a, a fair amount of pork and beans. Uh, at, vegan, I hope. Oh, you know I don't... You know I don't mess with anything that's not vegan, Alan, but... You know, all the... Diet and exercise in the world right now really can't lift my spirits because I just miss the show. I miss the show. I need it. And there's no possible way that it can be done when we're all stuck in our houses during this quarantine. I mean, without the theater, we're doomed. I can tell you this, though, Manny. I, I've, um, I feel like I've had a very productive time. Uh, I've been, uh, you know, teaching, teaching my cats to do household chores. And, uh, Alan. And uh, I think it's I think it's gonna one day work. And um, Alan, what have we what have we said about um, stories about your home life? I'm, so, I'm sorry, Manny. I sorry. I love you, bud. But let's let's just uh, let, let's keep it to ourselves. I just uh, hold on. I'm getting a call. I gotta take this. Uh -huh. I listen. Nobody wants that more than I do, but it, it's not possible. Uh, the the CDC. What are you? <laughs> You're insane. You're insane. It's impossible. I'm stuck in my house. My crew is all stuck in their houses. My band leader and my band are all stuck in their separate houses. There's no way you can do that sort of thing. We don't even have cameras or cameramen. Oh, well, I, I guess I guess you're right about that, theoretically. But I mean, who's capable of doing such a thing on such short notice? It would take it would take the greatest minds in television history. It would take it would take the most genius, most charismatic host the world has ever known. We'll do it, Alan. That was what are we doing, man? That was network. They told us that we're contractually obligated to put on a show every night, quarantine or no. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, we got to do this from home? <laughs> You're right. I can do it. We are going to do this from home. We'll call it Midnight Live from Manny Balthazar's house. I can come to your house? No, Alan. We're under a quarantine, but look... Oh. It's 2020. You do know that it's the year 2020, right, Alan? You know that much. Sh sh sure, sure. Never mind that. The year, Alan, is 2020. There's this new yeah. invention called the Internet. And we can use it to send video and music and all sorts of other things to each other. Yeah, go, go, do it. <laughs> Yeah, 
It's not the same without the band, though, man. But here's the thing, Alan. You can get in touch with the band members. They can communicate with you over this new internet. Uh huh. And then you can put it all together. Uh, we can, we can do this. We we can do a show. Let's do it, Manny. I'll call him right now. All right. You do that. I'm gonna go put myself together, put my face on, and then we're going live. See you back here in five. See you in five. Misters and gentlewomen, coming to you live from a living room in beautiful Grayway City, where the dogs are all hep cats and the cats are all lucky dogs. It's midnight live from Manny Balthazar's house. Tonight, we reunite the Midnight Live crew and check in with our fans. Plus, a special performance by me, Alan Feathersworth, featuring from locations near and far, the bulbous elephantine band. And now, your host for time half marathon observer and former owner of a 1986 Toyota Camry. It's Manny Balthazar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first episode of Midnight Live from Manny Balthazar's house. We've missed you. We have missed you. We've missed you so much. Everybody give it up for Alan Feathersworth and the Bulbous Elephantine Band. How are you tonight, Alan? Oh, I'm so good, Manny. It's good to be back on the show. And it's, it's as if I can hear everybody clapping, but then I, that's, no, I can't. That's just me. But, but I'm imagining things, you know? It's good. You can't, you can't, you can't hear a thing. But in these difficult times, we're going to do the best that we can to have a lot of fun. Now... Alan and I just started putting this show together five minutes ago, so we don't have any guests coming in tonight. But over the coming days, we're going to be bringing to you a nightly extravaganza with the hottest guests from all over Grayway City. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be elaborate. And as always, it's going to be brought to you by showboat brand Pork and Beans. Showboat brand mm -hmm. Vegan Pork and Beans. These are 100% vegan and they 100% pay for our show. Uh, showboat brand, pork and beans. This ain't no rowboat. It show ain't no slow boat. No, these pork and beans, they's a showboat. Thank you. <clears throat> now, Alan, uh, are you looking forward to all these special guests, all this great music that we're gonna hear over the next few days? You, you, you have no idea. I... It was so exciting to get back in touch with the band. Uh, it, tight lips, uh, sounding better than ever. In fact, I almost just let it be just the bass, nobody else, because uh, okay, he's so good. The, the, the band is back together, sounding better than ever. Uh, and, and these guests this week, I'm so excited. The music that we got coming up, we got a music video premiere. Yeah, we're uh, you know? we're stacked. We're stacked from top to bottom. You're at home. I'm at home. Everyone's at home. But that doesn't mean that we can't still be together. And so that's right. Coming your you way, you gotta pick up the horn, and you gotta reach out. You gotta make it happen. Yeah. You gotta keep those connections alive. You you, you you gotta reach out. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta you, you gotta touch somebody there in the heart. You gotta call them. You know what I mean? You know, if there's one thing I know about Grayway City, it's that no matter what happens in this town, and a lot of really weird stuff has happened in this town over the years, we always come together. We always stay together. We're a city of friends, and we're going to make it happen. Now, since we just started tonight, and we weren't able to book a guest for this first evening, you are my friend, Alan Feathersworth. So why don't you take us out with a little tune? I'll do it. You got any requests, Manny? I do not. I trust your judgment with all my heart and soul. <laughs> If you want to hear their voice, you gotta, oh, you gotta call somebody. 
somebody if you want to hear their voice. That was fantastic, Alan. Thank you. Thank you to the Bulbous Elephantine Band, and most of all, thank you to all the fans at home. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. <laughs>